was with a racing mind that Liam stacked the books on the very edge of his desk, clearing the way for his tablet once more. The possibilities of what he might be able to design with magic occupied his thoughts as he began to draw, and then stopped. First, he needed to figure out what he was going to enchant that would decide the size of the circuit he could use. Then there were the materials. He didn't have any gold in the house, unless it had been with the enchanting equipment the princess had put on the table in the basement. Liam jumped from his chair, barely catching his tablet before it hit his desk, and ran from his room. In the basement, he found the table covered with equipment that he hadn't had the chance to go through yet. A large wooden trunk on the edge of the table contained a mold and a pewter pouring cup. Underneath, he found several bars of various metals. The screen on the far wall had sprung to life in his presence, and a quick counter he had not seen before was spinning around in the middle. System update in progress. Please stand by. Every other second, the counter ticked up another percentage. The medals and all thoughts on enchanting were forgotten as he watched the screen waiting for the update to finish. With a flash, the update message vanished, leaving a new message in its place. The dungeon has been updated. You are now able to have greater control over the areas claimed. Claimed land can now be modified and built upon. Enchanting menu unlocked. You may now use the dungeon to create, modify, and combine known enchantments. With a prod of his eyes, Liam closed the message and noted the new option in the menu for enchanting. The last part of the message had his eyes drifting from the screen and back to the full table. He could use the dungeon to create and modify known enchantments only, which meant that any experiments could be done from his computer or the basement. The question was, what did he want to create first? The red dots on the map had surrounded the house with their encampment, making up his mind for the moment. He needed a new weapon, and to quote a certain metal suit-wearing genius, the best weapon is the one you only need to fire once. He needed something so completely overpowered and over the top that no one would want to attack him again. He needed something that used magic instead of gunpowder on a platform that he was familiar with. In short, he needed to create a magical railgun. If he could find the right enchantments that he could use magic to accelerate anything down the barrel of a gun. A familiar feeling began to creep over Liam as he began to mentally sort through the runes used for enchanting. This was the part of engineering that had pulled at him and refused to let go. He wanted to create new and wonderful things that had never been done before. He already had a list of items he wanted to try and make percolating in the back of his mind. It was up to him to now find the right combination of materials and symbols for each item. He already had the first major obstacle in mind. Old circuitry was laid out in a two-dimensional, single-layer format. That was not how they did it now. They layered and used every millimeter to compact and squeeze out that last little bit of performance. Now, obviously, he wasn't going to be able to do that. He didn't have the equipment to work in that sort of detail. It was the dungeon's message that held the key, though. Combining the enchantments. There were two ways he saw that working. It either created new runes that he could then use in the future in which case it was no loss, or it layered them, literally combining them together. He actually found himself hoping that it created new symbols instead of the expected layering. There would be a lot of trial and error and experiments in that case, with new runes being created that worked in unexpected ways. Depending on what was created, he might need to find a way to hide the new runes. He couldn't allow something powerful to be seen and used by anyone else. I thought I'd find you down here, Ellie said from the stairs, the soft black soles of her tall boots stepping soundlessly on the wood. I was looking at the enchanting equipment, he answered simply, not wanting to mention the changes to the dungeon just yet. Come upstairs, the cake is done, and I'll let you eat a piece with me. Her words were joking, but her eyes were serious. She wanted to eat that entire cake by herself. You can't eat it without some frosting or glaze on it. Liam told her imperiously as he stepped away from the table. He would have time to work on enchanting later. They were...